today I have a very special guest here. Is, you know, it's not all about fun. This is so shocking. I know, right? And that's how the sheet masks came about. Yay! We're all my soul, sisters. Let me hear y'all flow, sister! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your sister Yunyan in the house today and today I have a very special guest with me. Uh, this is my good friend Sophia and we love actually just geeking out about skincare. Yeah. When we actually have lunch or coffee, we just talk hours and hours and hours about skincare. We love skincare. That's one of our biggest passions. So we thought we will geek out with you guys because I know you guys love skincare too. I've invited Sophia today because I really wanted her to share about the truth and the secrets about the beauty industry and she has actually launched her own uh, sheet mask brands because she was so frustrated with the beauty industry am I right? right, right. can you introduce yourself and let us know why you were so frustrated hi guys I'm Sophia nice to meet you I'm the founder of maskmoments.com I'm here today because Uni had some questions about the behind the scenes the, uh, of the beauty industry and the mask sheet mask industry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So hopefully I can answer some of her questions without being grilled too hard. Yes, and you're gonna actually share with us why like you made your own sheet masks. Yeah, too, right? yeah, yeah. So, so actually, I love sheet masks, mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't always. And um, I, when I moved to Korea, mm. everyone had such great glowing skin. bright skin um. and I wanted to know why and I found out it was really because of sheet masks mm -hmm. uh, but I wanted to do it correctly and um, a lot of times the sheet masks didn't fit me right, right. it was sticky, right. it was um, like left residue I wanted to make the best sheet masks um, I wanted to make it affordable for my friends in the US so right. I launched it in the US and I've noticed that I saw that video on your channel I absolutely love it so I'm gonna link it in the description below so if you're more curious about how it all started for you or for um, Sophia you need to check it out in the description below alright so we're gonna be talking about seven secrets that the mask industry doesn't want you to know the first one that I was really curious about is what the freak am I getting for my money? You know, to be honest, like there are sheet masks that's a dollar or 50 cents, but there are other sheet masks that's like $10 or $15, yeah, right? Yeah. So I was always curious yeah. about this one. Yeah. Um, okay, so I love that we're starting with cost because that's the first thing that's top on top of people's minds. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to be, um, I'm going to try to break this down for you. There's the manufacturing cost, right? So the cost of how it's made and what mm -hmm. ingredients. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times the cost uh, is determined by by this. So by right. what ingredients are in there, exactly. by what. For what example, in sheet masks, of. yeah, what, what sheet it is, mm -hmm. what it's made out of, mm -hmm. and then the packaging and everything. Right. So that's the cost of the actual product. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, if it comes in really fancy packaging, right. you're, you it's are paying mm -hmm. yeah, a lot for, for that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in beauty, people love pretty packaging. Right. And Especially K-beauty. Yes, yeah. and, so, and, and it sells. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times you are paying for the packaging and mm -hmm. that's part of the cost. So mm -hmm. there's that. Mm -hmm. And then there is the middleman cost, which is mm -hmm. pretty big. So when we say middleman, um, we're talking about the retailers. Right, right. So what do I mean by retailer? It's actually stores. Right. So the Nordstrom's and the Sephora's of the world are the stores. All so of Young, Adidas, Down, just everywhere. All okay. of that. I see. Yeah. So those are stores mm -hmm. and that's what we mean by retailer. Mm -hmm. And then there is the customer. Right. So I'll give you a really um, simple example. Mm -hmm. The reason that when you go to Sephora, mm -hmm. Sephora products, you'll right. see products that are labeled yeah. Sephora. Yeah. The reason that they're cheaper mm -hmm. is because it's going direct to consumers. So you're right. getting Sephora products um, for prices that are that have no middleman because exactly. Sephora is selling to mm -hmm. you. Right. And so Brands like smaller brands mm -hmm. like our brand Mass Moments is going direct to consumer without the middleman. Right. The right. trouble is that the middleman, mm -hmm. which is the retailers mm -hmm. like the Nordstroms and the Sephora's and the mm -hmm. CVS's and the drugstores, all the big brand names where mm -hmm. you're going to the store, mm -hmm. they actually charge seventy to eighty percent. Of the actual product? Yeah, so significant amount of the money is actually going to the retailer because um, wow. people don't may not recognize a brand, uh -huh. but they recognize the retailer. Of course. Yeah, and so more and more the trend is that um, these brands are selling directly, uh -huh. but many times when they're going through a retailer, the retailer is taking uh, a cut of the price. 
you know, I'm so shocked right now because mm -hmm. of course I knew the price ranged so much from a dollar to, you know, like $15 mm -hmm. because of like we mentioned before the material, what it's made out of, the yeah. packaging, this and that. Mm -hmm. But middle man takes like 70, 80%, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, in oh. Korea it's a little less. Oh. Um, I think Olive oh. Young's and the um, mm -hmm. department stores, right. they'll take around 40 to 50. Right. Um, but in oh. the US it's about 70 to 80. This is so shocking. I know. And so products at Olive Young mm. are multiple brands mm. in a store called middleman called Olive Young, right? Right. right. But when you're going to, mm -hmm. um, for example, Ed Toot House, mm -hmm. it's Ed Toot House products yeah and they're they're the brands right itself. they don't have a middle there's no they don't need that's a why you can't you don't see a two house products in um, other places. stores yeah yeah they, they have their own stores. Right, so that's right, direct right. to the consumer mm -hmm. versus that's so when you're buying directly from the brand versus mm -hmm. when you're buying it at a store i love that okay. oh okay it clears up a lot of questions yeah well, I'm, I'm happy to answer more questions yeah so if you guys have questions below please yeah. ask and yeah and we're gonna actually i she i want to like pick on our brain so much like when we talk we talk for hours and hours so actually we're trying to make this video as short as possible but when we start talking it goes on and on because yeah, i keep on asking forever. your questions right please leave any questions you have in the comments below and we will be making more videos uh, for you guys all right so let's move on to the second question and you know how brands have the sensitive line and I also have sensitive skin mm -hmm. but what the freak does it mean to exactly have sensitive skin so actually, you know, um, people that have sensitive skin are the ones that recognize that they have sensitive <laughs> skin. Uh, but what you realize is almost everyone, everyone. has sensitive skin. Mm. Think of it like redness mm. on your skin. I so have redness. You have redness, mm. yeah. So a lot of people when they get red from a product or uh, for me, I didn't have sensitive skin before. Mm. But now if I wear certain products, mm. um, I will like break out me all too, of a sudden. Me too. Just flip up. Like, yeah, I yeah. And I like used it. to think it was pimples, but I realized later it was just a reaction mm -hmm. to of, that product. To the product or mm -hmm. to certain ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so almost everyone will develop sensitive skin over right, time. Right. And so there are certain brands um, that actually don't classify themselves as a sensitive skin li line. Ooh, they I just see. they think or they take the perspective mm -hmm. of everybody having Has sensitive, sensitive skin. skin or yeah. some feeling some type of sensitivity right right like, right so mm -hmm. those are the products that um, really push using gentle products mm -hmm. uh, the truth is because everybody does have sensitive skin right. or even if you don't you will develop sensitive skin mm -hmm. over time right what happens is um, we the dermatologist mm -hmm. will push sensitive skin products, mm -hmm. so gentle products, right. for every process of the skincare routine. Mm -hmm. uh, so technically, there isn't a separate category right, for right. A se a sensitive skin. The thing is, you should always be gentle on your skin, right. and you should be um, caring for your skin, even if you have not sensitive skin. Right, you should right. be caring for your skin like it's sensitive. Right, right, right. right. And it's cause, because eventually everybody does get redness. Mm -hmm. um, every, some type of inflammation. Yeah, some type of inflammation. Mm -hmm. And so you do want to look out for, um, you do want to be gentle on your mm -hmm. skin no matter what you use. Mm -hmm. It's true for sheet masks too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. She, yeah, okay. there are sheet masks that are more suited for mm -hmm sensitive skin. So what is like the best sheet mask for sensitive skin types then? Well, I mean, obviously I'm going to say mask moments, uh, <laughs> but even if you're not using uh, mask moments, right. uh, you know how when you look at sheet masks, right. there's, um, it tells you what kind of sheet it is. Yes. So generally there are three kinds of sheets and mm -hmm. this will go into another time, mm -hmm. but generally there are like the paper fabric kind, right? Like the gauze kind and right? the pencil and everything, pencil, right? That's all like bamboo sheets. Mm -hmm. So those are all fabric, what we okay. call fabric or okay. paper. Uh -huh. And so those are the cheapest out there mm -hmm. and those are for, um, for the least sensitive people. Oh wow. And generally, so those sheet masks are actually the cheapest. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I um, mean, I heard this before, but when I first heard it, I was like, really? <laughs> I was like, they're the same? And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. yeah. A lot of oh. the fabrics are all the same, and oh. that's why they're on the lower end of the mm -hmm. price spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, but if you have sensitive skin, you should definitely be using biocellulose technology. Yes. Yeah. We and, hear that a lot these days. Yeah, and I can talk about that in another video about what biocellulose really means. Right. But yeah, if you have sensitive skin, um, 
circle it. Biocellulose is what you want to use. Right. It's actually the um, only mask that's all natural. Mm -hmm. Alright, speaking of natural, right? Yeah. What does it really mean? Because we hear that word natural, it's organic. That's yeah. why it's a little bit more expensive and things like that. But what does that term mean exactly? Yeah, okay, so I use that word a lot too. Mm -hmm. um, but legally, with the word natural, there's right. no binding term. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of people use it because they think it's related to nature or using a product related to nature. Right. But a lot of these products do. So um, what I meant mm -hmm. when I said natural is um, that it's made from an organic, uh, like an edible product, uh, like a natural coconut? product, like coconut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So our sheet masks, mm -hmm. for example, are made of coconut water mm -mm. turned into jelly yeah and so it's actually made from um like something from the bio world right, right. So that's why it's called bio right. right um but when, so when i use the word natural it means like it's derived from a plant or a fruit right, right something right. alive mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um so that's what i meant by natural mm -hmm. but technically and legally there's no binding um, definition. And so a lot of these products are using the word natural as a marketing term. Yeah. So I thought, okay, because it's from a natural ingredient, I guess, yeah. or because it's organic, that's why it's more expensive. And yeah. that's why I yeah. try to understand that part. Yeah. But we're now we're saying that it's just kind of like a marketing term. Yeah, so nat because there's no legal like binding mm -hmm. um, definition to the word natural, mm -hmm. a lot of the brands will use the word natural mm -hmm. on their products and they can get away with it. Right. Um, but what we want to know as cu customers, as right. consumers, is we want to think of natural, when we hear natural, we want to think that it's from a you know plant or a fruit, right, something that's right, been right. something alive, mm -hmm. right? Something alive. Right. Um, but uh, the word organic is a little bit different. Right. So the organic, mm -hmm. um, because people use it a lot on foods, there's like an organic mark. Mm -hmm. It is actually, um, like they're, at least in the US, oh. they're very strict about what can have organic as a label or not. Thank, thank God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seriously, thank but, God. Oh. But it's not always, um, it's not always like, Stamped. There's like oh. a mark that you can look for oh, oh, oh. Um, that they have it. But in beauty products, it's really hard to actually use right. because right. only certain ingredients, for example, let's say there's like a fruit or a plant, mm -hmm. is probably organic. Right. The whole thing cannot be really organic. It's really hard. Right, because there needs to be preservatives. There's chemicals and right. preservatives. There's right. other, and not bad preservatives. Yes, yeah, for but sure. But there are other ingredients in the beauty product. So mm -hmm. to label it organic is kind of difficult. So right. when they say organic, they probably mean mm -hmm. that there's an ingredient or two or several ingredients that are grown from, that are taken from an organic farm. Right, right. And so when you hear the word organic, what you want to understand is it comes from a farm where they didn't use like certain herbicides right, and right, stuff like that. Right, right. Yeah, so that's what organic means. So organic mm -hmm. is a little bit more binding than natural. Right. So natural is more of a marketing term. More common. And yeah. by law, you, anybody can use it, kind of. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So people use, I mean, as long as it's they're using um, some sort of ingredient uh -huh. from nature. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's what natural really uh -huh. means. Uh -huh. And same thing with like hypoallergenic. Right, right. It's also like another marketing term, right. unfortunately. So don't be tricked by that. Yeah. I mean, I saw that at the book in Paula's Choice. I, I mean, I love her book, but she was saying that it's just the marketing term. If yeah. we hear that, we might think, oh my gosh, it's gentle or it's yeah. proven to be gentle. Yeah. But at the end, it's just the marketing term that. Yeah. Yeah. That you're, it's not going to invoke like a huge reaction mm -hmm. from you. It's just like sensitive skin. Right. So it's hypoallergenic, like natural, um, those are different words. Organic, like I said, it's supposed to mean that there's an ingredient or something from farm mm -hmm. that, and, and that where they don't use like herbicides and stuff. Right, right, uh, right. Or like bad chemicals. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with the word like non-toxic. Right. Right, yeah, it's right. another it's another non -bind, legally non binding word. It's right. like a more of a marketing word too. Yeah. Um, but people like to hear that. Right. But honestly, you know. Um, Mm -hmm. Nothing should be toxic. Right, no right. beauty product should be toxic. And so it's unnecessary. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah, so it, it's unnecessary. It's just a thing. It's a way to kind of... Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> same thing with sensitive skin or like, you know, oh. or um, hypoallergenic. Like, right. It shouldn't be causing right, right. reactions, and yeah. if it is, you shouldn't be using it. It's not right, right for you. Right. And so those words are kind of, you know, yeah. a lot of times used for marketing. Exactly. And I mean, speaking of chemical, I mean, mm -hmm. we were talking about this, but when mm -hmm. we 
we hear something that's it's natural, we automatically think, oh, okay, must be good for our skin. And or, no chemicals in it. Yeah, and mm. we think, okay, if it's chemical, you're like kind of scared of it. Yeah. But it's that's not the case, right? Cause, no, yeah. yeah. Oh. Because when we say chemical, mm. actually like everything is chemical. I'm chemical. Yes. I mean, you're chemical. Yes. yes. Chemical. <laughs> um, everything is oh, chemical, oh. and so there. Chemical is not a bad word. Right, 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 yeah. right. And we hear all natural. We think that you know. I've heard this before. Like mm -hmm. some YouTubers say, oh, if there's an ingredient, and I don't understand what I, what it means. I don't use it. But what it is is you do need certain mm -hmm. chemicals right. that are binding or that help like certain ingredients right. absorb. Right. And so you shouldn't be afraid of the word chemical. Mm -hmm. um, even natural ingredients are chemical. Right. And just because let's say we're using K. It doesn't mean you're taking like you Literally. know a kale and like you know right. it. no you're taking like you know a molecule certain mm -hmm. molecules you're taking certain ingredients or certain mm -hmm. factors from the kale ingredient that's good for skin mm -hmm. and putting it into skincare and so unless you're making like you know um, a homemade homemade mask oh. which if you are you need to be using it in like the next five minutes like ASAP yeah or it's gonna go bad so right. it's bad for your skin mm -hmm. um, all natural or you know mm -hmm. the or no chemicals is not and actually a good thing. Right. You know, everything is chemicals. And so don't be afraid of those words. Can I just say I love you? <laughs> I'm getting so happy again. Like I'm so embarrassed. I get energized when I talk about skincare. I was kind of depressed or like kind of down the like couple past days because I pulled my back. But now I'm like I love you. <laughs> Let's pick on our brain more and more. I love it. Okay, so one other thing is I like to use different sheet masks and we all do. And sometimes I see someone using different brands or different types of sheet masks like every single day. Yeah, yeah. And I always talk about this, but we would never do that with like a serum. We yeah. would never use like one today. We, would, we wouldn't use a new one the next day, yeah. you know? So is that good for our skin? Yeah, okay, so mm. the truth is part of then this is part of the fun part about beauty, right? Uh -oh. We love to try different products. Yes. So we love getting different samples. Mm -hmm. And so sheet masks, because, you know, you can, it's instant. You can get like one, yeah. right? And time. just cheaper, to be yeah. honest. Like to buy a product is like 20 bucks or mm -hmm. at least, you know, but so sheet masks are like cheaper. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so it's easier to buy. Mm -hmm. And so people love like trying different yeah, masks. I do too. Um, mm. But actually, so if you have really sensitive skin, mm. I, I would suggest that you don't do that mm. because uh, when you continue Definitely. to use different products, your skin is going to overreact a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and I know there are like subscription boxes with different sheets. Yeah, in every it. month. And yeah, stuff, right? and it's fun, right? So we like to do it because it's fun. Mm -hmm. But skincare is, you know, it's not all about fun all the time. And so right. if you're trying it, I think when you're younger, maybe if you have like really not sensitive skin, right, right, maybe right. you're able to take that. But I actually feel bad for a lot of like beauty influencers like mm -hmm. you because it's your job to try different yeah. products. I, we talk, I always talk about yeah. my skincare diaries too, kind of like that. I feel like bad. I am sorry for my skin and yeah. I, I'm sorry to my subscribers too because sometimes I wish I could try more products and recommend different products but mm -hmm. I talk about literally same products every time you yeah know? but yeah. yeah I think but I think we do understand because my subscribers do have sensitive skin too yeah and mm -hmm. the truth of the matter is it actually takes a full month mm -hmm. like at least like a 28 to 30 day cycle right. for your skin to actually um, go through its full mm -hmm. cycle. So mm -hmm. your skin has a whole cycle. We can mm -hmm. talk about that another time. Right, right. But um, so for you to test out whether a product is really right for you or not, mm -hmm. you should be sticking to it for a month to right. see the results. Right. Because the ingredients don't always have like instant benefits. Mm -hmm. Okay, speaking of instant, mm -hmm. I know that we're so impatient and we really want to see results like right off the bat. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Okay, this is a great question because mm -hmm. I used to have the same issues. Mm -hmm. So I, I still get like dark spots mm -hmm. and whenever I saw a product that said like dark spot eraser, right. I was like on it. And then I would like put it on and the next day I'm like, is it gone? Oh, you know, is, is it gone yet? Oh, is it, it did it erase? Yeah, it? yeah. And you know, and this is before I learned about mm -hmm. skincare. Mm -hmm. And so um, the thing is we want instant results. It's giving you the appearance mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of good skin. Mm -hmm. But to have truly brightened skin, right, right. Um, that will take time. And we talked about this because mm -hmm. I was like, but what if there are sheet masks that I've mm -hmm. actually tried mm -hmm. that really gave me a brightened look? And yes. I was like, what is that all about that I need? You know? Yes, mm -hmm. and most of the time, mm -hmm. um, it's a result of several things. Mm -hmm. First, it's 
hydration. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I will tell you the to get really bright skin, it's a combination of two things. It's actually um, getting rid of dull skin. Right. And right, the way you can right. get rid of dull skin is exfoliating. Exactly. Really mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. And hydrating. Mm -hmm. And when you use these brightening masks, mm -hmm. um, or sometimes they say whitening, right, but what right. that means is it's evening out your skin tone. Right. Or your uneven skin tone, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you have like uneven skin tone and then, you know, so a good example is, you know, when you have like dark spots and mm -hmm. you apply something, right. um, you'll realize that you'll see that the next day, it's not just that that one spot mm -hmm. improves, it's that whole area. Mm -hmm. You have the glow kind mm -hmm. of, you're the like, The area oh. improves. And oh. that's how skin improves mm -hmm. and so you the reason that I actually love brightening masks mm -hmm. and I love um, like calming masks right. is that it brightens your uneven skin tone and right. that's what's giving you the appearance of brighter skin mm -hmm. for me uh, I wanted every mask moment like every mask that we had in our brand right. whether it's like brightening or calming mm -hmm. to have that um, anti-inflammation effect mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. when you have that cooling effect it evens out your skin tone right. and it gives you the appearance right. of looking brighter right. and then when you're hydrating it that's mm -hmm. also adding to the appearance of mm -hmm. looking brighter definitely well speaking of your mask um, I've tried every single one of them but brightening calming and every one mm -hmm. of them and when I first tried it to be honest with you I was like oh, there's no like ample left mm -hmm. there's like mm -hmm. nothing left so right off the bat it seemed like I was like my skin is very calmed but mm -hmm. I don't think it's hydrated enough because mm -hmm. we're so used to sheet masks that like you're left with the you know the dripping the dripping yeah. thing you need you feel like you need to soak it in or wipe it off and things like that. Mm -hmm. But what I realized is the calming effect of my inflammation around my nose area, the pesk area right here, mm -hmm. and around the red parts were amazing. I I really liked the calming effect of it, mm -hmm. and I could tell not the first time I didn't really know, but every, every time I used it, I could tell that it, it really hydrated my skin and mm -hmm. it helped with the texture too yeah because for when it comes to sheet masks mm -hmm. what you want to look for is absorption right and so this is kind of tied into the whole instant effect right. we're used to um, thinking and this is part of what brands mm -hmm. do when mm -hmm. they market is you know um, we feel like when we have this like residue left on our skin yeah. we feel like oh it's moisturized <laughs> Right? Like equals moisturize because yeah. there's like stuff left. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But, but when mm. you think about it, what's mm -hmm. going on is it's just sitting on top of your skin. Mm -hmm. So what you want to look for is products that are actually absorbing deep, deep into, into the layers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is why with Mask Moments, when you when you're finished, you'll notice that not only does the sheet get thinner it really gets thin the coconut jelly like, yeah and the cool thing is when it's dry it gets thinner yes. when it's like hydrated and when it's, my skin was already in a good condition it gets thinner less yes like, yeah, yeah so it's really interesting yeah so you can actually test out which areas of your skin are more dry uh -huh, uh -huh. because it'll absorb more right right yeah and so what you want to look for is products that are actually being absorbed into mm -hmm. your skin mm -hmm. and this is why um products like ampoules or like serums are so important mm -hmm. because the molecules are really small right. it absorbs deeper right and so right. you want to look for masks that have serums and ampoules in it um, sometimes you know people like the white milky right, um, right. like stuff the and consistency yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and sometimes that's not always essence it mm -hmm. acts more like a cream but it feels more hydrating it does yeah like and because so, of the it seems like it's locking in the moisture kind yeah of. right right but you're losing the effect of what a sheet mask should be doing because of what a sheet mask should be doing is helping you absorb deep into your skin. Yes, and then you should be moisturizing ah. after. So for the creamy consistency or textures, like mm -hmm. the molecular size is bigger than the serum or ampoules, Yes, right? most of the time that's the case. Uh -uh. And so that's why you want to moisturize after. Oh. Uh, but a lot of sheet masks use that kind of um, ingredient right, right. because it leaves the person feeling like they're moisturized. Yeah. And so it's, it's tricky because, you know, are you marketing to someone who wants to feel that way mm -hmm. or are you really looking for deep penetration, right? right, right. And so, I mean, we chose for Mass Moments to deeply moisturize mm -hmm. skin layers, mm -hmm. but you won't always feel like it. Exactly. You'll notice it the day after, or you'll notice it a few days after, but if you're not that observant, you may miss out right, on right. what it's really doing. Right, right. And so right. you want to be careful when you're losing your products. You mm -hmm. want to um, observe carefully. Yeah. So to wrap up that point, mm -hmm. um, from jumping to brand Yeah, brand. you mm -hmm. don't always be wanting to jump 
from brand to brand, mm -hmm. you want to give it at least a full cycle, skin right, cycle, which right. is at least about 28 days, so at least a month mm -hmm. to test out products. And my recommendation is not to jump from brand to brand, mm -hmm. but to stick it out. So stick out through that line. Stick, mm -hmm. stick it out uh, for at least, um, and, and stick within that brand of mm -hmm. products or that line of products uh, to test out um, whether it's a true good fit, uh, whether it's a to test out whether it's a good fit for your skin mm. or not. Then, realistically speaking, with sheet masks, mm -hmm. do you mean that we should definitely buy the same sheets for maybe like ten or twenty of them, or like ten of them, and then use it maybe like once or twice a week and just test that out? Yeah, like, so, would that be wiser? Yeah, and it depends on you know your preference for how you ma how often you mask. Some right. people mask every day. Some people mask once a week. Some people not at all. Mm -mm. I don't know why, yeah. <laughs> but I look just like, I don't know why, but, um, but um, yeah, pick a schedule mm -hmm. that fits your schedule mm -hmm. and then stick it out for a month. Mm -hmm. Um, that doesn't mean you should use like only the calming mask every day. Right. What, it, what I mean is stick to that brand mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for a month mm -hmm. and you know, because throughout the month you have different, like your skin has different needs. Concerns and mm -hmm, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you want to stick to that brand mm -hmm. or that line mm -hmm. for, for a month at a time to right. test out whether right. a product fits or or not. Oh. This is true for serums and other products too. Oh, but so many brands have different like products, right? Yeah. And even from one line, there's like sometimes 20 products. So yeah. do you mean like similar main ingredients? Generally when they come up with a line of products, they're generally using similar ingredients. Right, right. Yeah. So you want to stick to that line. So if a right. brand has multiple lines, stick to that line. Oh. If a brand has only one line, just stick to that brand. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. And then if they only have that one product, just stick to that product. Yeah. I mean, that, it depends that, on what um, it is. If it lasts for, you know, give it a, give it a month oh. to try it. Unless the only caveat is if you're sensitive to it and you're reacting, then you don't, just want to stop. Try yeah, it. Then don't do it. Then stay stop away right me. there. Yeah. All right. I think we've kind of uh, talked about this, but I'm very curious. I mean, we did talk about the different types of sheets, but how does it really differ? I do understand about like, oh, you know, it's all together paper or mm -hmm. whatever fabric, mm -hmm. but can you go in a little bit detail of how it differs? So I can talk about this for hours. Yeah. So we can make it another the video. video for sure. The yes. longer one. Yeah. We'll make a longer video to show you guys the difference. Oh, but yes, like showing them, like literally showing them which kinds mm -hmm, is different. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay. Okay. So we'll do that in another video. Mm -hmm. But just to give you like a um, a taste of right. what it is, is basically think of it into uh, think of it in three categories. Mm -hmm. There are fabric kinds mm -hmm. that we talked about before, mm -hmm. like the tensils mm -hmm. and like the cotton, organic mm -hmm. cotton. 100% or cotton. Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. all that and the thin sheets and mm -hmm. you know, those are all paper or fabric. Mm -hmm. That's one category. Mm -hmm. The second category is hydrogel. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you've seen hydrogel before. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, most hydrogels come in two parts, like the top part and the bottom uh -huh. part. And what hydrogel is, is basically it's serum, mm -hmm. but it's jellified. Uh -huh. So it's ah. serum turned into a gel, gel form, oh. which is why it's called hydrogel. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's this is the second generation. So the right. first generation of masks, when they first came mm -hmm. out, were all fabric. Yeah. Then they decided to come up with a better right. um, system. The material. Yes, yeah. and it's serum itself, which mm -hmm. is why oftentimes when you look into the um, like masks, sheet masks packages mm -hmm. of the hydrogel, you're not going to get as much ample right. because it's ample kind of jellified already. Ah, I see. Yeah. I see that's why. Yeah, some, yes. some you don't see like as much as the cotton ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the downfall of the gel ones, the hydrogel ones, was that people were leaving it on too long. <sighs> and because it's not breathable, it was causing like redness and uh, oh, like breakouts. blotchiness. Even breakouts yeah. if it's yes. not breathable. And Yes. Oh. And I don't know if you've ever noticed, but hydrogel sometimes will like rub off and you get like like residue, uh, off, like, like have you ever that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That? Like the, like I call rolls. it lotion boogers. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Do, yeah you so hydrogel that. will often do that, mm -hmm. and so the most recent technology mm -hmm. of sheet masks um, is actually biocellulose, right. which is like I said, all natural. It's breathable. Mm -hmm. It's made out of um, basically like coconut water mm -hmm. turned into a jelly form. Jelly form. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's not like chemical serum jellified, but it's actually coconut water, mm -hmm. which kind of it like the like molecules they form its own fabric right and it's 
So that's why they say it's all natural. Mm -hmm. So if you have sensitive skin, well, definitely biocellulose. Mm -hmm. uh, biocellulose, is biocellulose is actually really difficult to make. Uh -huh. uh, and so sometimes people will claim it's biocellulose. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, mm -hmm. it, so there's different kinds, huh? There are. Uh -huh. um, and um, a lot of people will say it's biocellulose. Uh -huh. Um, but you can always tell because it's never uniform ah. because it's natural um, so you may like so for ours if you order uh, you know a month's mm -hmm. worth because mm -hmm. our, since ours is a subscription mm -hmm. you'll you'll notice that sometimes like the amount of serum in certain masks mm -hmm. are less than other masks yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. live cultures right, right, right. It, it may sound really weird uh -huh. but it's like live organisms that right. are forming its own um, like fibers right and so uh, that, that are tying each other together yeah yeah and it's absorbing the serum oh. so the amount of serum in each one is different oh. and so if you like let's say if we laid like 10 biocellulose masks out and then you it's never it? going to be uniform ah. it's going to be slightly different yeah that's really interesting which oh. is why actually this is and we can talk about this next time but oh. which is why you should always um when you have a biocellulose mask, lay it flat oh. and not like straight mm -hmm. up because then it'll all go to the bottom. Right, right. And you right. want it to absorb like sideways. Evenly. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Right. What's the difference between then your or the, the sheet mask that we're talking about or that technology biocellulose mm -hmm. and the one that claims to be biocellulose? Like what's the difference between that then? Um, it's just the way that they're made. Aww. The way that they're made is really, uh, it's like it's a difficult process. Both of them is 100% like um, coconut water. They should be, Aww. but they're sometimes not. Ah. And so you just have to watch out, be wa watching out for um, mm. biocellulose. That's not the the best way you can tell is actually the price, because biocellulose is actually pretty expensive to make. Ah. Unless you're buying ours, since ours is direct to consumer. Right, 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 right. But the middleman uh, is not there. Yeah, the <laughs> um, no middleman. But biocellulose generally is the most difficult to make, right. and so it's actually the most expensive. How much is it around? Usually a biocellulose mask, not not yours, but like in the market. Um, I think generally, I've seen it all over the board. I've seen it anywhere from like seven dollars and up, I think. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah. So it's not the more cheaper type, you know? No, it's definitely not a dollar. It's I've hard. never seen biocellulose masks That's for cheaper than like that. a dollar. Yeah, um, if it's saying it's biocellulose and it's a dollar, <laughs> then it's not. Yeah, then, then it's most oh, likely not oh. because it's really difficult to make. Right, So right. it's just, it's just, you just can't get that. Mm. Um, so I think see. of biocellulose as like coconut water mm -hmm, mm -hmm. turned into like a jello, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but like sliced thinly. Right, right. And so then, oh, I, I'm like imagining it right now. Yeah. They, they put it into a jello and yeah. then we're, we're carving it like one slice and they're putting that's it That's right, that's right. And then um, it'll hold the serum. Mm -hmm. And so when you apply it, it should thin out. Oh, yeah. for sure. Which I saw in your mask. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That, that was really cool. Yeah, so that's how you know. Um, you have to try it. And yeah, if, you, if it's like, claiming biocellulose for the dollar, it's mm -hmm. definitely not, not, a, not real biocellulose. Yeah. yeah. So in conclusion, mm -hmm. when it comes to sheet masks, mm -hmm. it's really about absorption. Mm -hmm. um, the reason that when, just to go into a little bit of mm -hmm. the history, um, you know when you go get a facial, mm -hmm. there's several processes. Right. The first is cleansing. Mm -hmm. Then it's, deep cleansing. Right, so right. it's like removing your makeup and it's like deeper exfoliation cleansing. Right, right. And then they go they do some sort of like massage, like manual right, technique right, right. to get the circulation going. Mm -hmm. And then basically they put a mask on. Mm -hmm. And when you do put the mask on, that's when you're absorbing all the nutrients and right. hydration and that's the best part. And some brilliant person thought, okay, well why don't we dip like a cotton a fabric into this like wonderful serum so you can have the same effect at home. Right, right. And that's how the sheet masks came about. Yay! Yay technology. Yay. Yeah. And that's how it started. Oh. That means the most important part of mm -hmm. sheet masking is absorption. Mm -hmm. It's all about absorption. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if you're paying a dollar, you are really just getting what you're paying for. Right. Which right. is like not as deep absorption as you'll be getting with like a biocellulose mask, mm -hmm. right? And so um, really like you want to look for sheet masks mm -hmm. that 
helps you absorb all the nutrients and mm -hmm. hydration deeper into the layers of your skin mm -hmm. that have like serums. If you have any other questions or any other points that we did talk about, you want to go kind of deeper into it, please leave it in the comments below. For yeah. sure, yeah. for sure. Any oh. questions you have for us. Uh, uh, uh. And don't forget to subscribe to Sophia on your brand's channel, right? Mask Moments. I'll leave all the links in the description below. And one of the things that I really like loved and respected kind of that you did was you have a one dollar trial home oh yeah, yeah 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 i love that and you pay for all the shipping yes. so you don't have to pay for any of the shipping but you just pay one dollar to try the mask itself check out uh, maskmoments.com and the dollar trial we mm -hmm. came up with the dollar trial because we believe in our product yeah and so we thought you try it for a dollar um and you'll be so hooked that you'll want to continue to subscribe right 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 so check it out below maskmoments.com oh by by the way, mm. um, it's only available in the US currently. Yes! I'm so sad! Yes! Um, but it's on Amazon if you have access to Amazon. Yes, so I will leave a link in the description below on Amazon. They do ship worldwide. But if you are in the States, you can get it. You can get the $1 trial. So yeah. please check it out. I'll leave everything in the description below. And we have so many different um, video ideas because there's so much in this little tiny brain <laughs> that every time I meet her, I feel so inspired and I feel so encouraged and I learn so much. And as you guys know, I'm someone who's like a sucker for skincare and I just want to learn more. I love geeking out with you about skincare. So thank you so much for taking the time to, you know, film my with pleasure. us. It's mm -hmm. my pleasure. Thank mm -hmm. you guys. Did uh, you have fun today? I had so much fun. Mm. I love you, Nii. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Oni, for coming all the way here. She's all the way here in the boonies at my house <laughs> <laughs> to film for me. And we will have more exciting videos that is very filled with fun information about skincare. Geeky. Geeky, yeah. <laughs> Geeky, definitely. So stay tuned in and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.